Yo, here's the difference between me and all the people selling lies on social media and television. Yeah, I'm a trans woman, yes. You know what that means? I'm a biological boy, biological man, okay? Psychologically, I suffer. Spiritually, I'm suffering. Emotionally, I'm suffering. Neurologically, I'm suffering. There's confusion. It's a very complex and layered phenomenon. I like to call it a phenomenon because it's a part of nature. There is no right or wrong about it. I don't believe there is. However, when the system and other trans people start violating the rights of other people in the name of inclusivity, I got to call bullshit because that's all I see that's been going on. You know, it's not, you know, <laughs> I'm a male mammal. Okay, that's the difference. Biological women are female mammals. My soul wishes it was in a space suit, a biological flesh suit, right? The body, anatomically, I wish I was born in a female mammal's body, a female mammal space suit. I don't have that. That's where the suffering comes in. That's where the complexity of it all comes in. That's why I suffer because my soul feels like it should be in a uh, biological female spacesuit. Um, and it's a phenomenon. It's disturbing. It's confusing. I'm almost 50. Nothing got better. I was on hormones almost 15, 16, 17 years. I'm not off it. Why? Very dangerous. A um, lot of side effects that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Um, but I'll save that for another video. But I just want to clarify that, yo, I'm not out here selling lies. I love my people. Whether you get mad at me or think I'm an asshole or wrong or this or that. Like, I'm not here to, I don't, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to share my my instinct what i go through i know i'm a powerful voice i know i don't have that many followers but that don't matter i don't give a shit i'm not out here for likes and follows like most people most people are out here for likes and follows i don't play that game I... <sighs> so anyway my point is is that i am a biological man um i identify I feel like I'm a woman inside and I should have been born with a biological female spacesuit, but I wasn't. And that's my challenge here in this, on this physical 3D reality, you know, low density uh, vibration we call planet Earth. Because um, that's what we're on is a very low vibration here on the planet and everyone, we're witnessing it all. And the vibration seems to get lower and lower. But just so people, I know a lot of people are confused because I, I push back on the trans community a lot because the trans community ain't the community that it once was. It used to be about acceptance and compassion now it's about coercion and i don't play that game i'm not trying to convince anybody to like me or to understand me i just that's why i'm pushing back because people are like wait aren't you trans so why don't you think women trans women should be you know competing against biological women there's a big difference dude it's a big fucking difference Okay, you know how many years it took biological women to have their rights put into place? And now literally, you know, all these trans, all the trans people that are competing against biological women. Let me just say this. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Trans women should be busy protecting biological women. But that's not going on. 
That's not, that's not what's going on. There's a lot of people out there like me, a lot of trans people like me that feel this way, but our voices aren't being heard. So that's why I'm getting louder and louder every day because society is failing again and culture is not your friend and they're confusing many people and many children and I'm very against it and I'm very against any trans person who competes in women's sports. I think it's disgusting. I'm against anyone, any trans person that parlays in these political uh, divide and rule conquer games that they're playing on the people. We need each other. We don't need any of them. We need each other, especially trans people too, you know? And people like Dylan Mulvaney, Leah Thomas, the swimmer, these motherfuckers, they don't speak for me. None of these people represent me. I'm a real human being. I'm really suffering. Hormones didn't change that. Breast surgery didn't change that. I'm not even on hormones anymore. And Shaka, I may even just detransition all the way and just go back to living as my male self because I never got bottom surgery, I never got facial feminization surgery. Uh, that wasn't a part of my journey. I'm here just trying to understand what my soul is experiencing. And um, it's heavy, and it's deep, and it's very layered, and it's very complex. But I, I will not be, re be reduced to all this bullshit that's going on online. So if you're confused, I hope you've you can unconfuse yourself because I'm out here protecting biological women's rights. My mom died at 20, overdose on drugs. She was robbed from her life. I don't wanna see any biological women being robbed of their life and their hard working uh, energy and all these young ladies swimming and competing and just to have some fuck face, just dominate physically and this is listen i would never invalidate what any trans person is going through i'm one of them i'm one of you okay i'm one of you okay i suffer every fucking day i wouldn't want this on any of my kids okay all this bullshit there's a lot of suffering that comes with trans is beautiful yes some little side of it but it's also a fucking nightmare okay and listen I'm going through it, I live through it, and it's a good thing I'm a strong human being or whatever we are, I'm a strong spirit. I have a lot of heart and I will not let the people of this world reduce me into a little corner. I'm not afraid of anybody, okay? I'm not afraid of any of you, especially the naysayers. I'm not afraid of all you dumb effing white progressive jerk offs that keep coming to my page, especially the men. <laughs> especially the guys that, you know, are speaking up for trans women. You don't even know what the fuck, you, you're literally a misogynist, dude. You're literally a misogynist. It's like, anyway, this shit got way too long. And um, I just wanted to make it clear that just because, um, I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing. And my soul wants to be in a female mammal spacesuit so I could run around and I could dance around on the planet in a girl's body. But that's just not how I came in. I've got challenges to work through. Um, so I hope people are clear. Hi. <laughs> um, I hope you, you, you people stop mindlessly judging me like i don't care actually and that's another thing i'm very free of the good opinion and the bad opinion of others but i'm laughing on this side because some of you people are so stupid some of you people <laughs> you, you you have the mind capacity of a flea it's it's unbelievable some of the things you people write to me I think it's absolutely hysterical. It's like, wow. But anyway, mad respect to biological women. Mad respect 
to people like Buck Angel and Blair White for keeping it real amongst all the turmoil and bullshit and all the mindless no player characters in the world that are trying to infringe on your peace fuck that I'm real uh, I'm genuine and I own I own what I am and who I am and what I'm going through and you, none of you will ever take that away from me ever not none of you dummy Democrats on the on the far left, you fucking morons and the people on the right and you conservative, all you people wearing political pins, <clears throat> go get your fucking humanity back because you're literally slaves to people that'll never serve you. That's what's up, motherfucker.